<clears throat> well guys, I hate to break it to you, but it's, uh, it's just me today. Now, right now a lot of you are hitting the back button and going back to the YouTube homepage because it's just Jacob, and there's no Jake, and there's no Andrew, so it's going to be boring. But anyways, it's not going to be boring. Let's get started. Alright, so, um, we did this one, shoot, a couple days ago, I think. Um, I went first. Um, Olivia is on the um, left-hand side of your screen. I'm on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, I went first in this workout. Olivia was supposed to do a separate workout, but her sister, Ellie, who's right now spotting both of us, um, isn't feeling too great. And so she decided to take the uh, night off of doing the Metcon, and she just essentially spotted us on the bench press. So what we're doing here, we are doing four rounds for time of eight bench press, eight dumbbell, I'm sorry, eight uh, D-ball, stone over shoulder, and then a 16 calorie row. That was actually mine. Um, and my bench press is 225, uh, the D-ball is 150, and then it's a 16 calorie row. Uh, Liv is actually doing eight bench press at 85 pounds, um, six stone to shoulder at 100, and a 12 calorie row, which looking back, um, we first started these girls on using D-balls. Um, we had them start with an 80, which was, is the technical, like, girls' weight back in the day for RX females, and, you know, they struggled with it, they felt like I got the, they felt like I got the hang of it, and they got better at it. Um, and then we went out and bought them 100, because they became so quick at an 80-pound D-ball that they were just whooping us off the 150. Um, so we got them a 100, but now it's come to the point where the 100 is is actually pretty easy for them now, probably similar to our 150. So I had her do six. I probably should have had her do eight uh, looking back to make it a little a little closer, but you know, you live and you learn. Um, the bench press in this workout is meant to be unbroken. Um, so if you're doing this workout, uh, I would say choose a weight that's meant to be unbroken. 225 might be too heavy. Um, yeah, 225 might be too light, I don't know. Uh, it's not supposed to be super heavy, um, I did all my rounds unbroken. I'm not saying you have to pick a weight that you can go unbroken. Um, but the weight, I think, when Andrew programmed this for Midwest Bay was supposed to be 205 for males. Um, I did 205, and I was like, this is way too easy. Let's make it a challenge and up the weight a little bit um, as I struggled to D-ball there. Um, anyways, and then, of course, a D-ball, you can sub out with anything else you don't have. Or anything like a sandbag, similar concept. Any odd object work is, is pretty much what we're getting at. Um, and then I also had Liv, if we're doing this discussion, I also had her do a 12 calorie row instead of a 16, uh, which is probably pretty close to what I was doing. I think I was doing like 50 seconds. Um, I treated the row as my rest. Um, and so, yeah. Um, man, it's kind of it's kind of stinky when you're you're by yourself. You know, like, at this point in the conversation, Jake would talk about what we're sponsored by. We obviously didn't have that, you know. Andrew would talk about how I look like a pile of poop right now. And he'd also make fun of me and be like, Olivia's beating you. And I'd be like, yeah, she is beating me. I'm okay losing to a 13-year-old. <laughs> um... Yeah, so he, Andrew gave, for this work I actually gave a time cap. The time cap was 10 minutes. So if you obviously divide 10 by four, you've got two minutes and 30 seconds per round. Um, on the board, when I looked at this workout and kind of wrote out splits and concepts, I decided I could probably go sub eight. I would just need to kind of, I would need to pick up the pace in the D-ball. And I think that's where I lost a lot of my time if you watch it, um, is that D-ball became a little bit tougher than normal. Um, and as you can tell, I probably should make Liv do eight instead of six because the way she's throwing that over her shoulders is honestly easier than I'm using the 150. Um, so yeah, it's a 10 minute time cap. Of course, you can obviously change that to, to fit your needs and obviously change the bench press and the D-ball and, and the calorie row to fit your needs. But cool little workout. Um, he programmed this just in case we see bench press in the open, which um, I don't know. It was in regionals for the first time last year, so yeah, it could definitely be in the open. I mean, it would be lighter, right? Like, I don't think you'd see a bench press at 205. I think if you saw a bench press in the open, you'd probably see it 
probably like 135 to 155 max for males. Problem is you have to make sure that everyone can do it right. Um, and so it's got to be pretty light. And I don't think you'll see an ascending weight bench press that, you know, it's not going to happen. And it's, it's honestly, it's a fairly mo easy movement to judge. The issue I think you'd see if you put it in the open is if you use the same standards for bench press for regionals that you did in the open. So the bench press standard for regionals was you couldn't bring your butt off the bench. And, you know, you couldn't essentially use your hips or kind of kip a, a bench press to help yourself out, which is totally understandable. I, I totally agree with that. But that would be really hard to be able to tell from far away in a video and to also kind of judge it. Um, shoot, we, we missed Olivia. We could have probably pointed out a couple of her reps where she kind of like arched her back a little more than normal. And so you, your question is, is that a good rep? Um, you know, with your back arching and your butt possibly coming off the bench, probably not. And so that's why I don't think it would be in the open. If it was in the open, it'd have to be really, really light. Um, because obviously the heavier you get, um, the more likely you are to arch and bring your butt off the bench. Unless of course it's a light bench press and then it's a lot of reps. So that would be pretty hard to judge too. So anyways, um, Olivia is actually finishing up. I should have probably made this a little bit harder for her. Um, I wasn't planning on her doing this with me. Um, and she did it after she didn't want to do her other workout. And so she completely crushed me in this workout. So in case you're here to see Olivia versus Jacob, you just watched uh, Jacob get destroyed by Olivia in this workout. Um, so yeah. But they don't have anything else much to say for being honest with ourselves. That's pretty much it. Um, I think you know, people, crossfitters tend to make fun of bench press, like, oh, it's stupid, it's stupid. But I still think it's really important to practice and to do. I know uh, Cobra Command CrossFit, the gym I go to, uh, we, I think we bench probably once, if not twice a month. And I, it, as a strength piece, mostly. I think it's important, right? It's, it's something that shouldn't be overlooked. I think uh, when we look back at the last regionals we had, which is 2018, we had the uh, bench press inside of, oh shoot, what's that workout called? Linda. And you saw a lot of CrossFitters who are regional level athletes, who are still, you know, regional level athletes are still elite athletes in my book, that struggled on the bench press. And I think it's because we tend to be like, ah, stupid bitch bench press, like that's a waste of my time. And it's really not, it's really important, I think. Um, you know, I think too much bench press is not good for you, but um, it's really important. And I think you saw a lot of guys struggle because of it, because they don't practice it. And so I think it's important to practice it in case it does come out in the open, in case it does come out in regionals, RIP, just kidding, those don't exist anymore, or in the games, possibly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good little workout. Again, four rounds, uh, eight bench press at 225, scale is necessary, eight uh, stone over shoulder. Um, I use the 150, you can use a sandbag, honestly, anything there. And then, of course, a uh, 16 calorie row for me, and Olivia did, uh, she's 13, did a little bit different. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm excited to see what 19.3 is tonight. Catch you guys later.